So today when I woke up, I found myself in that lazy procrastination kind of routine where I did not feel like getting up from bed. In fact, I found myself swiping up on Instagram, watching those shorts that sound so enticing and it's very difficult to pull oneself out of them. And and but little by little my rhythm came back and I just wanted to share what worked for me, see if it if it is something that interests you. So the first thing um, is that the short form video is most attractive and somehow it is designed by these social media computers to keep us in the loop perpetually. So what worked for me was to switch a little reluctantly, of course, from the short form to a long form. So just a gentle switch from swipe up, swipe up to one long video. And when I was picking that, I was aware that I'm I'm kind of going to be reluctant to switch from this short form. So I'm kind of pushing myself, but this is all the push that one needs, I think. So, and the long form video that I picked was something that I felt would put me in a state of love, self-love or any kind of love. So I picked a bhajan. Now, listening to a bhajan somehow um, or a devotional song, it puts me in a state of ease, grace. So I'm not exerting pressure on myself when I'm pulling myself out of this state. I'm trying to be as kind to myself, as graceful and and, uh, empathetic, compassionate to myself. That's my way. Some people might like to force themselves out of procrastination, but my way is to do and try to do it with love. So next few minutes went when I was enjoying that song, where that bhajan, when I was tuned and my heart was feeling that love. And I let some of that love to be directed towards myself. I allowed myself to soften with love. I feel that when we are actually feeling reluctant to get up, when we feel that we are procrastinating, when we are, those are the moments or those, that is actually a sign that we have been very critical of ourselves. In recent past, there have been moments when we are actually spending our time being self-judgmental. We've spent some time feeling some guilt or shame about something. So it is a time for us to assess if there is, if it's actually fair to keep ourselves receiving that criticism for us from ourselves, and see if we can switch to self-affection, self-care. So this was my way. And as that bhajan kind of progressed, I found myself softening, feeling, experiencing that comforting, warm love of my own self. And then I got up and I started straightening the bed. So I spent next few minutes making the best bed ever, which was everything that I touched, I left on the bed that uh, today morning was perfectly aligned perfectly straight bed cover perfectly bed aligned bed sheet change the pillow covers and left it just perfect and when i was done it kind of this act of straightening the bed also kind of is therapeutic and then i spent some moments straightening my table making it perfect and then just looking at it with a sense of satisfaction that it was good work. You see, uh, all this conversation is going to be about is about bringing love and kindness to yourself in small measures. And now I have actually spent most of the morning procrastinating, so I do not have sufficient time to exercise, to do the yoga routine, the work that I do every morning. But instead of letting it go altogether, I spent 10 minutes doing very simple stretches. And I loved it. So without a certain number of cycles, I just stretched a few times. I stretched every limb, every angle, but did it in a fashion which was gentle. But I brought that stretch to every part of my body. And it was not with an intention of increasing my heart rate. It was rather to bring mobility to my limbs, to bring gentleness, but more than anything else, to let the routine stay to let that habit continue, to to, uh, help myself feel that I'm still within the routine. I'm not too far behind. And just a few minutes, I think it wouldn't have taken more than 10. Probably even when I started, I was feeling even five would be good. I spent 10 minutes of that. 
and then for the next few minutes i i was back in routine straightening the room straightening the um, the house got myself into a shower got ready and here i am to talk to you so the one message that i want to leave you with is that when you're trying to be um, when you're trying to pull yourself out of procrastination see if you would like to try it with ease and grace try to do it with love and one of the easiest method is to try try to bring order on your table in your bed make a, make a bringing things in order and when you have done that to sub permit yourself to feel the satisfaction because you see your procrastination your feeling overwhelmed is a sign that you have withheld love from yourself and it is time to let you receive it and you see when you love it is not about letting that love if if self love appears to be a complicated idea or a difficult idea to practice then it's fine to love anything and my way is to do it with a bhajan if when i let love radiate to the universe or, or my source my god and as i am working through the rest of the routine i permit myself to repeat the name of god which is favorite to me i allow love to deepen in my heart and that's my way of of trying to overcome procrastination and now i find myself in a system where i can i can take action whatever it is that my life is asking me to see if you'd like to try this out